Okay, this is a quick review of the argument rubric for eighth grade. Um, I'm really zoomed in so that I can focus on the three and the four. So for this essay, you are going to be graded on four different standards. The first one is uh, called argument. It is W8.1. And we've broken this down into I can write a clear argument that takes a position and defends it. So for this one, we are looking for your essay to have a claim that clearly takes a position. Your claim and your evidence are solution driven. Uh, your elaboration further explains how evidence relates to the claim, and your essay has a clear rebuttal of the counterclaim. Uh, all of these things we are going to talk about in class. Uh, so as you're going through the rubric um, at the end of your paper, make sure that you've been paying attention in class and you know what all of these things mean. If you don't know what something means, please do not hesitate to ask your teacher. Um, to get a four, there are going to be some extra lessons that you can do if you are ahead of everyone else to really push yourself. Remember, a four means that you have gone above and beyond. Um, it's not just doing what everyone else does. You do have to prove that you can do more in order to get the four. Um, so uses rhetorical strategies to make and support arguments. There is on the argument writing hyperdoc, if you scroll down to the very bottom, um, there are these challenge videos, and if you apply all of these, you can get a four on uh, all of the categories, as long as you've met all of the criteria for a three as well. Um, so the next category is organization. I can organize my essay in a logical way. This is another subcategory under the state standard W8.1. So we're looking for you in your introduction to explain the issue clearly. Make sure your body paragraphs are focused on only one aspect of the topic. Uh, make sure your essay has at least two body paragraphs. You can have three. That's how you get a four. Um, a rebuttal paragraph, an introduction paragraph, and a conclusion paragraph. Uh, paragraphs need to be well-developed and have at least five sentences. They can have, um, I would do no more than seven because you're probably going to not have as good of organization if you go over. And then you need to wrap it up with a conclusion. Okay, um, the next one under W8.1 again is I can support my claim with relevant evidence. So you need to make sure that the evidence you're using is logical and relevant to the reasons in your claim. You need to make sure that you're citing your sources and including correct author tags for each body paragraph and your rebuttal. That means your introduction and your conclusion do not need uh, to have sources cited in them. And then uh, make sure that you include two direct quotes and one paraphrased idea throughout the essay. Um, your essay also needs to include a synthesis of sources if you would like to get a four. Once again, if you come down to these challenge videos, um, there is one down here that you can watch that will explain the synthesis of sources in more detail. Okay, the last one is standard L8.2. I can write with proper punctuation, grammar, and spelling. Um, so the language used and language used is formal and the tone is appropriate for an argumentative essay. Um, we're also looking for you to have a properly cited works, properly formatted works cited page. And then uh, your grammar, punctuation, and spelling should be mostly correct. Uh, make sure you use your resources like Grammarly is really helpful in making sure that you're doing everything correctly. Um, for a four for this, you need to make sure that your MLA formatting is correct. Once again, there is a challenge video to help you with that one.